Welcome to This Week in Warframe, a series where I keep you updated on all things Warframe, from announcements made by DE that don't necessarily warrant their own videos, to community fan art, posts, and updates. So let's go over these announcements and news from the 1st to the 7th of October. Early in the week, Rebecca posted a roadmap onto the forums that informed us of Glassframe's name, which is Gara. She also stated that there's a chance that her quest will be delayed by one week due to scheduling conflicts. However, if it is, players will still be able to farm her parts or purchase her from the market, so that they're ready to build her when the quest drops. Now, she also dropped some more information about the release of the update, but we now know that it'll be arriving sometime this week after the video goes up. Now secondly, DE announced the official Planes of Eidolon hype site on their website. The site briefly describes the new content coming within the update, such as Cetus, the Planes, Nighttime, some of the vendors within Cetus, new weapons, Focus 2.0, and something new to Warframe, which is set mods. Now for those interested in watching more Planes of Eidolon gameplay, learning more about Focus 2.0, or you just want to see the new content in-game before its release, I suggest you check out one of the four live streams DE produced over the weekend, three of which was with two content creators, Shul and Inexpensive Gamer, and the fourth was prime time with Rebecca and Megan. Now, as for the weapons coming in the update, we'll see a new rifle called the Astilla that sounds like it'll have a mechanic similar to the Zakti. We'll also have a new hammer called the Volnus, a new throwing secondary called the Fusali, a new grenier sniper rifle that'll highlight enemies when you've zoomed in, and a new sword called the Crocar. Finally, there's the new set mods. Now, personally, I despise them, but I can see why some people would want them. I just wish they would open up the Exilus mod slot to allow these mods and of course Augments. Now these mods consist of three. So there's the August set, the Gladiator set, and the Vigilante set. Thirdly, DE Danielle released an update on changes made to the Xenuric Focus School. So in the original posting, the passive Inner Might provided 50% channeling efficiency for melees, and they've now increased that up to 60%. I don't know if that'll help channeling in any way, as it is a dead mechanic in my eyes, but for those of you who use it, I'd like to know your thoughts. Now, they also showed off how the new energy overflow operator mechanic will work in the latest primetime episode. So, when performing a void dash, an orb will appear that players will have to travel through in order to gain energy regen for a short duration. Honestly, we should just have passive regen at this point, but it's DE being DE. Now lastly, the Gara Warframe profile is live over on the Play Warframe YouTube channel, and it looks like a number of her abilities received a few graphic updates since the last time we saw her. It's definitely worth a watch before we get our hands on her. Now that's all the relevant DE information that I could gather for this week, so as usual we'll finish the video up with a few community posts. First up we have a follow up to last week's episode with the 100 Hours of Warframe Twitch charity stream. So as of the time of recording, the stream has around 10 hours left and they have raised $14,000 for Breast Cancer Research and the Breast Cancer Foundation, which is pretty solid if you ask me. Now secondly, we have an interesting Valkyrie Captura shot by Reddit user EA Pwned. And lastly, Warframe had a Planes of Eidolon advert at Times Square, which is great for the game and the community, especially since it's way better than the marketing that we received with the second dream and the world within. So props to you, DE. It's good to see you improve in that regard. Anyways, that's it for the updates and highlights this week. If you found this video informative, make sure to leave a like. If you think I can improve upon something or you wish to share your opinion on one of the topics, you can of course do so with a comment down below. And if you missed out on last week's episode, you can check it out by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.